That same day, two other disciples, not of the eleven, are traveling the seven miles from Jerusalem to Emmaus. As they walk along, they talk back and forth about all that has transpired during recent days. While they're talking, discussing, and conversing, Jesus catches up to them and begins walking with them, but for some reason, they do not recognize him. You two seem deeply engrossed in conversation. What are you talking about as you walk along this road? They stop walking and just stand there looking sad. One of them, Cleopas is his name, speaks up. He must be the only visitor in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about what's been going on over the last few days. What are you talking about? It's all about the man named Jesus of Nazareth. He was a mighty prophet who did amazing miracles and preached powerful messages in the sight of God and everyone around. Our chief priests and authorities handed him over to be executed, crucified, in fact. We'd been hoping he was the one, you know, the one who would liberate all Israel and bring God's promises. Anyway, on top of all this, just this morning, the third day after the execution, some women in our group really shocked us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but they didn't see his body anywhere. Then they came back and told us they did see something, a vision of heavenly messengers. <laughs> and these messengers said that Jesus was alive. Some people in our group went to the tomb to check it out. And just as the women had said, it was empty. But they didn't see Jesus. Come on, man. Why are you being so foolish? Why are your hearts so sluggish when it comes to believing what the prophets have been saying all along? Didn't it have to be this way? Didn't the anointed one have to experience these sufferings in order to come into his glory? Then he begins with Moses and continues prophet by prophet, explaining the meaning of the Hebrew scriptures, showing how they were talking about the very things that had happened to Jesus. About this time, they're nearing their destination. Jesus keeps walking ahead as if he has no plans to stop there, but they convince him to join them. Please, be our guest. It's getting late, and soon it'll be too dark to walk. So he accompanies them to their home. When he sits down at the table for dinner, he takes the bread in his hands, he gives thanks for it, and then he breaks it and gives it to them. At that instant, Two things happen simultaneously. Their eyes are suddenly open so they recognize him and he instantly vanishes. Just disappears before their eyes.